I'm a big believer in the golden rule, but I'm even a bigger believer in the platinum rule. Treat others the way they want to be treated. And on this conversation, in this particular episode, my friend, me and my good buddy, Darren Rank, he's going to talk about how you need to build rapport the way your prospects want to build rapport. You're going to love this one. It's good. You know what I mean? Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode today, we have an amazing guest. His name is Darren Ranke. And we're going to talk about this concept of how we can build rapport, but not just building rapport, building rapport the way your prospects want to be connected to, want to be connected with, and want to get rapport built with, uh, built And I feel oftentimes we want to do things the way that we feel is right, but not necessarily bringing the prospects in. Darren actually works with the leaders all the time. He has an amazing book. It's called The Savage Leader. You can find more information about it in the show notes. But the principles we're going to talk about come from that because no matter who you are as a sales rep, you're still leading. You still have to guide people and influence. And on in this conversation, you're going to see how Darren actually outlines how we can go about doing this in some simple, easy to apply strategy but often overlook. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our podcast and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get advantage, take advantage of the updates and the notification when we have these amazing content coming out. Without further ado, let's dive into the content, get a chance to learn a little bit more about Darren and some of the amazing things that he has to share that can help you build better rapport. It gets back to communication and most of us make a mistake. I know I was guilty of this before I became aware of this years ago. But we tend to think that everyone wants to be communicated in the style that we prefer. So the same thing goes for selling. Obviously, it's 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 rooted in communication. So someone like me, I tend to be really outcomes oriented. I like to move really quick, just bottom line things to me. I don't need to have all the data and the details and the minutia. So it's it starts with just getting a sense for, hey, we're all different. We all have our preferred mode of communication and methods of communication, and in this case, style of communication, which leads to greater rapport. So in terms of what people get wrong is they go in there with their style, what's worked in the past, and that's great. You know, what got you there has gotten you to today, but how do we go further with that? How do we develop rapport? So it's starting by saying, look, it's an acknowledgement that we communicate in different ways. And so, and then it's about, okay, how do I think about that? My style is around risk taking, moving quick. Someone else might like that data. Someone else might like to have time warmed up with a personal conversation. I know we jumped into this conversation today, so I tend to think you probably are in that red like quadrant like I am about performance versus like, hey, you know, how you doing? How was your weekend? Things like that. But everyone's different. And so some people need that and want that. And I think as a seller, you'll be a lot more successful in developing rapport if you start to look at it through that lens. One way to shortcut it in, this is an assessment that I use with all of my clients. It's called the Strengths Deployment Inventory, and it gets at people's motives. So I recognize if you're working with external customers and prospects, you won't have the benefit of that. That said, you can start just to get a sense for the person as an individual. Like, I know you haven't taken the assessment, at least through our knowing each other, and I can get a sense for what motivates and what drives you. The same, you know, you, you jump right to the point, you're quick to move. You're obviously a very confident person getting out there hosting a podcast and then other people, maybe they tend to lead with a lot of data and facts and figures and details and product features and functions and and so forth. And some people provide a lot more time and space for that personal relationship and intentionally about building, building rapport and developing rapport. So that's one way is to start to listen. And that really starts with being present. And that's probably gets maybe a little woo woo for people who are sales oriented. They want to, they want to crush their month, crush their quarter so they can make their year and get the bonus and get promoted and all that. But it really does start with being present because if you're present with the people, then you can actually start to listen and listening with your eyes, with your ears, and also just get a sense for what really motivates and drives people. So the words that they use, the way that they say that, the examples that they use, even in their communications, if they tend to send a lot of attachments, they, the email could be right to the point, the use of bullet points, the use of some personal introduction about things that are really, that sounds authentic in terms of how you doing, how's your family, maybe you shared some personal details. Those are really good keys that you can use to start to get a sense for how someone prefers to interact and how to communicate. 
it really starts with I like to think about three steps, which is okay. intention, reflection, and action. And that's really just for any kind of behavior you're trying to change, whether it's for yourself or trying to impart that in somebody else. And intention really starts with just being a willing, having a willingness to change and do something different and not just thinking, well, you know, I've been successful to date, so I, I don't see any value in trying to do something a little bit differently. So it starts with a desire for, hey, you know, gosh, I wonder if I develop rapport a little bit differently. If I adapted my communication style, could that actually deliver greater outcomes for me as a seller? And that's really that intention part. And then also, what would I achieve if I did that? Gosh, imagine if I was able to uh, develop rapport more universally by adapting my style and not just connecting with the people that really fit my style. What would that do to my win rate, my close rate? What would that do to customer lifetime value? Like, What would that really do to enable my success as a seller? So that's really the intention piece. The reflection is really what we talked about before in terms of both getting a sense for who you are as a seller and are you that data-driven seller? Are you that really performance out outcomes type of seller where you're really communicating that value proposition through the lens of outcomes for them? Or are you really rooted in some of those data and details and analytics? Or are you more of that relational seller? And so, but then getting out of your own shoes, not just saying, well, here's what my style is, but here's what other folks are. So let's be reflective in terms of what have I heard from them? What are the words that they use? How do they communicate with me? What modes are they texting me? Are they, are they sending me long emails at nights and weekends? There's a lot of personal information that people are sharing or asking about. So that's kind of some of that reflection, both about yourself and then other folks. And then the action really is how do you actually put that intention, that reflection into practice so that you can actually make the change? And in this case, it's about developing rapport through adapting that communication style to the other person, to making sure that you show up and you are more present, that you are actively listening, as you mentioned, in terms of not just the words people use and what they're saying, but actually how they say it, the tone, um, the cadence, and then also just their body posture. You know, you can get a, a really good sense for what someone's thinking and feeling by, by looking at their body posture. So that's really the action. So the intention really setting about making a commitment to actually go and do something different than reflection in terms of yourself and the other person in this case and then action is putting all that that intention that desire to change and do something different with that introspection and reflection and actually putting it into play hey that was darren ranke and if you have not done so already check out his book as well as connect with him on linkedin tell him that you heard about him here on the sales evangelist podcast we have the information down in the show notes i know he would be super excited and you know what I would be super excited that you've just met another cool human being as well. Um, if you haven't taken advantage of our sponsors as well, they have some offers there and they ain't going away. They have some good offers that you could take advantage of. I use these tools. I use this. I wouldn't recommend it to you if I didn't find it of something of worth or value. So check it out and uh, let me know how you enjoy it as well. Now, speaking about enjoying, we have a free course that I have. Is You can find information about it at salesevangelist.com slash free course. Again, the salesevangelist.com slash free course. And what this is, it's a five-part video training course that I put together that's going to help you to improve your sales skills. So go ahead and find some information down below. Check it out and uh, tell me on the flip side um, how you'll enjoy it. As always, I share stuff like this because I want you to succeed and thrive. I want you to find more of your ideal customers. I want you to know what to say when you reach out to them. I want you to close more deals. But most importantly, I want you to go out each and every single day, raise your level of thinking and do big things. Thank you so much for listening.